This episode of the Memory Palace is brought to you by Article. We are big fans of Article here at the Memory Palace. This room of the palace, um, the ballroom where I'm sitting right now, um, it's palatial, trust me, um, is lit beautifully uh, by a legit beautiful lamp from Article. This stuff is of extraordinarily high quality. Um, it is truly lovely furniture that's influenced by you know mid-century modern and Scandinavian styles. Um, I have a feeling you're really gonna like it. If you've never checked it out before, you know, summer and warmer weather is right around the corner here in the Northern Hemisphere. And they really have fantastic outdoor furniture. It's totally worth checking out. Go to article.com and take a look. The stuff looks great and it is made with all these outdoor friendly materials like teak and acacia wood and granite and galvanized steel and rattan. And it comes to you with a flat delivery fee of $49, regardless of what you're buying and how big the order is. So go to www.article.com slash memory palace and get $50 off your first purchase of $100 or more. That is www.article.com slash memory palace. Go check it out. The Memory Palace is brought to you by Rate Marketplace. If you're a homeowner, did you know it takes just minutes to see if you're eligible to save up to $4,000 a year? Rate Marketplace is a home financing engine that uses a fast and easy online process. With Rate Marketplace, you can drop the paperwork and in a few minutes get a custom mortgage solution from your phone or computer. If you want to get started and see your savings at ratemarketplace.com slash memory palace. That's ratemarketplace.com slash memory palace. They are an equal housing lender. MLS number 1137890. This is the Memory Palace. I'm Nate DeMeo. A postcard from the Central Park Zoo, 1932. Everyone used to go to the zoo. They'd cut through on their way home from work, or they'd make a special trip to see the rhinoceros or the African elephant. On a summer day in 1887, the zookeeper counted 70,000 patrons between 2 and 6 p.m. It was nice. I mean, it was terrible compared to a modern zoo. Sad and angry animals in tiny cages. But it was pretty. After the depression hit, it wasn't, and no one came anymore. There was no money to maintain the grounds. The buildings were crumbling. The city was worried that if a bear or a lion decided he'd had enough, he totally could have busted through the walls of his enclosure. It couldn't afford to repair the cages, so instead it paid guys to sit in front of them all day with rifles, just in case. They hadn't bought a new animal in years. There was a half-paralyzed baboon, a senile tiger, an old puma with rickets. The rats were the meanest thing there. They'd walk right into the lion's cage and steal his food with impunity. But there were people who cared about the animals. In fact, the do-gooders at the zoo had a policy that they'd take in any abandoned animal. So there were pet canaries in with the ostriches. In a row of three cages. And the one on the left, a mountain lion. The one on the right, a family of leopards. And in between them, a stray air del terrier. 